you have kind of a full-time day jobs, all of you. Right? We do, and, uh, and we're and kind of a wide variety. We're diverse. Two of my guys are tech professors. Todd and, uh, and Andy are tech professors. Oh, yeah? Andy's, I mean, <laughs> Ty, Ty and Todd are tech professors. Andy's a home appraiser. Is that a, was that a promotion or a demotion? Right, you tell me. <laughs> we got to get you into tech somehow. You weren't ever involved. You know, I paid a lot of money for him. To go to. <laughs> there you go. You are involved. That's right. Just on the outside. And then I'm a sales rep for a storm board company. All right. So, and you're the lead vocals. Yes. Okay. And it's so good to be talking to you. Well, thanks for having us. We met you at the Casa Fundraiser. Uh -huh. And of course, that's what we're talking about. We're talking about the Tracy Bird concert coming up. That's Hasa right. Hasa Fundraiser. So, uh -huh. is that how you got involved with the concert because of your involvement with Hasa? Uh, well, we kind of a little bit of both. Uh, we knew the promoter and have worked with him before. And uh, he said the show was coming in and asked if we would be interested and and uh, helping him out and, and playing the show. And, and we jumped at the chance. I mean, who wouldn't? I mean, it's a great mm -hmm. organization. And not to mention Tracy Bird and Rick Trevino. Who wouldn't want to? open for those guys. Absolutely. Well, congratulations Thank on that. You. We look forward to seeing you perform. Really nice to have you here in the studio. Tremendous new song. Your very first new album. Y'all have been together for a few years. Mm -hmm. How did that come about? Well, we met in church and started playing praise and worship and doing stuff in, in church and playing praise and worship music with several different services and, and uh, with the youth and, and with uh, an extended Saturday service. Express Care is what they called it and uh, just started playing together and, and enjoyed it and thought, how do we take this to the next level? And wow. uh, we did a talent show at church and kind of when we, when we cut our teeth, we did a full, yeah, there you go, <laughs> shot, a full 50s and 60s show where we did all oldies and about 10 oldies in this show and, and we took it to heart because we wore white blazers, thin black ties, uh -huh. and black pompadour wigs. Oh! <laughs> so it was bad. We were out there. Yeah, it was bad, but, but people seemed to like it and, it, and it just kind of spurred us on a little more and thought, okay, this is fun. Now what do we do? So we started playing some 80s music and did a couple of 80s shows, and I thought, all right, is this us? Is this where we need to be? And so we finally said, all right, country's our genre. Okay. Andy started writing a lot of country songs. Tig is writing songs now, and uh, so we're getting ready to release our first album. We still do some 50s and 60s and some 80s rock, and we'll throw that in our show, but we're, we're starting to do our music now. Well, congratulations. Thank um, you. Where did the name come from? Uh, it's kind of local road here in town, mm -hmm. Spur well, yeah, 327. And <laughs> we're all from local areas, small towns. Uh, mm -hmm. Andy's from La Mesa, Todd's from Brownfield, and Tig is from uh, Post, and I'm from Big Springs. So it's all kind of surrounding areas. and. This road cuts right through the middle of the town, and we thought that it's got a good ring to it. You put spur in front of anything, sounds country, right? <laughs> so I bet y'all kind of grew up playing music, and now you're finally having a chance to maybe relive the dream a little bit? Right. We you, Relive is exactly what it is, something that maybe we didn't get to do, and now we've got a chance to do it a little bit later in life, and, and we're going we're gonna to take this open window and jump through it and run it as long as we good can. you. That is inspiring, I think. I bet you there's a lot of musicians who have taken their musical career, kind of set it on the back burner yeah. of life. Maybe now the kids are off to college or, you Just know. about. We're, we're, we're kind of in, in, in different places. We've got some out of college. We've got some fixing to start college and finish high school. And then Tig is, is a little behind. He's got some fixing got to start. He's got a kindergartner. He's got a kindergartner. So we're in a little bit different place in our life, but, you know, being full-time dads, family men, and full-time jobs, and the band has kind of taken, instead of a hobby, it's, it's become a full-time deal. And, and I mean, it's, we're having to juggle, but we enjoy it, and, and we wouldn't have it any other way. So it's worth it. And you've got an album coming out soon. Yes. And you've got a lot of original music. It's all original mm -hmm. music? Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, and what's the name of the album? It's going to be called Dodge and Armadillos. That's what I heard, and I said, all right, so I have to ask you about that. <laughs> <laughs> and and it, comes, it comes from uh, the chorus of the song you just heard, uh, Dodge and Armadillos on the Highway. Cool. So, so y'all out, you have a big tour bus? Y'all? <laughs> <laughs> we have a trailer. <laughs> we got a 12 foot trailer. That, that's about our extent of it. So, what are your future plans? We would like to, to grow and, and, you know, and play more regionally and, and, and break out of that region and play more Texas and, and surrounding areas. I mean, it's, we want to go as, as big as this will take us. And, you know, we have a single out on the charts right now on the Texas regional radio chart. And we're climbing. It's at number 60 as of last week. And I guess we'll find out, thank you, today if it's going to climb even higher. So it's, it's definitely a fun ride for us. We're getting to open, you know, for, for big names like Tracy Bird, Rick Trevino, uh, Ronnie Millsap. We got to open for Jay Leno last February at a fundraiser here. And wow. I mean, 
Clay who in Clay exciting. Walker? I mean, who in a million years would have thought yeah. we'd be opening up for Jay Leno? Mm -hmm. All the years on the Tonight Show, and what a great guy too. Oh yeah, and so we're doing things that we never thought we'd do in a million years. You know, starting as a praise and worship, just playing in Good church and messing around, and it. <laughs> It's you. really a dream come true for us. We all sound terrific, Thank I have you. to say. Thank We're so you. glad to have you here in the studio today. And I sure hope that everyone will come out and see you uh, with the Tracy Bird uh, concert on Friday. Heck yeah. You follow know, you. They can check you out on your Facebook and mm -hmm. on, your, on your website. On our website. And uh, we've got a video coming out soon. And I mean, it's, yeah, please come out and see us. We play a lot local in town. And I mean, we even got the honor of voted Best of Love, but Best Local Band. Last Congratulations. Month. And thank you. And so it's like I said, it's stuff that we never thought would happen to us and we're getting to live this dream. Well, we're sure looking forward to the album. And again, thanks so much. Congratulations on all of your success. Thank you, Jan. Glad to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for having us.